Aside market fundamentals of demand and supply, the global oil market is to a large extent said to be driven by external factors such as speculations and geopolitical tensions in producing countries. In the last three months, the price of crude oil in the international market has continued to nosedive from about $100 per barrel to below $80, with what has been described as ample supplies, mainly from non-conventional sources like the shale oil, from the United States, a major driving force. Although many producing countries are now losing revenues, with Russia said to have lost about $100 billion so far, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, which controls about 40% of world production, at its 166th meeting in Vienna, decided to maintain its 30 million barrels per day production quota, stressing that supply will balance demand in 2015 as it continues to monitor the trend in the interest of stability. The OPEC and non-OPEC producing countries are in the game together. But of course, as an organization that has a long history um, in terms of the uh, global crude uh, market and prices, OPEC will do everything possible to ensure that it maintains stability in the market as far as we can. While the issue of ensuring a balance in the global oil market was a major knot at this meeting, OPEC as an organization also made a breakthrough in its leadership. Call it a breath of fresh air. So, for the entire 2015, Nigeria's Dezani Alison Madweke will steer the affairs of the OPEC conference. If we remember, it was during the period of design Alice Madwiki that we have the Nigerian content under her ministry, which simply empowers Nigerians to come into the sector and to excel. It has uh, brought a lot of uh, greater visibility for Nigeria in the world uh, affairs. OPEC has so far had 65 conference presidents and alternate presidents, with Nigeria featuring prominently and now producing the first female in its 54-year history. In Abuja, Hawa Salihu, Adama, NTA News.